Well, the Olympic flame wrapped up its northern tour yesterday evening as it called on the city of Prince Rupert. As Sahar Nazim Deust reports, perhaps the biggest part of the night wasn't the torch itself, but the final mystery torch bearer and who she was. The sun had just set, but the streets were lit as the Olympic spotlight shined down on torchbearers and spectators alike. Prince Rupert streets came to a halt as the city welcomed the Olympic torch on day 95 of its journey from Olympia, Greece. Three of the seven torchbearers were from Prince Rupert, starting with 17-year-old Justin Barton, who is known for his athleticism and participation in traditional First Nations dancing. Barton then passed the torch on to 58-year-old Bob Thompson on his first day of retirement after long-time employment with the city. From Thompson, the torch was then passed on to one of three torchbearers from the Lower Mainland. And judging by the amount of height this young man achieved, it's safe to say he's an athlete in his own right. Next, the torch was passed on to an Australian man named Otto, who obviously had a huge fan base and could have been part of the promotional team since he had a huge following from Olympic sponsors. Then it was the moment everyone had been waiting for. It was finally time for the mystery torchbearer to be revealed. If you're a Prince Rupert resident, this woman is very familiar since she's a key figure in the city. For everyone else, she is 85-year-old Charlotte Rouse. Rouse is known for years of service to her community. The many volunteer hats she wears and along with her team of volunteers, looking after planters throughout the city and of course organizing city cleanup days. Ironically enough, Rouse even beat out her own son for the position of torchbearer. do a lot for the community. They really do. And, you know, uh, uh, like just with the planters, all those 40 people that help, that's amazing. You know, just little things like that. Not little, but, um, but it's, it was great to be picked, I must say, but I, I was quite surprised. And we never told anybody either. We kept it a surprise, so that was kind of fun until last night. <laughs> it was great to see you all. I just, I was quite overwhelmed because everybody was cheering, you know, like, and uh, I just thought, what am I doing here at the time? But it was fun, yeah, and it was quite an honor. And as if it was possible, since her position as torchbearer, Rouse has become even more popular in the community. But she's not letting the celebrity status go to her head. She says she even plans on leaving her torch in her son's coffee shop so both he and the community can continue to enjoy it. For CFTK TV News in Prince Rupert, I'm Sahar Nassim Deust. And the Olympic flame arrived in Bella Bella this morning aboard the BC Ferry Northern Adventure and is arriving in Port Hardy for a community celebration tonight.